Both the MCSA, Microsoft Certified Systems Administrator, and the MCSE, Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer, are indications of an IT professional skill set. Each certification comprises of a number of exams where candidates have proven their expertise in different areas. Becoming Microsoft Certified is a great way to broaden your skills and knowledge base and consequently increase your career opportunities. Professionals who are Microsoft Certified can earn significantly higher salaries than their unqualified co-workers and benefit from much greater job security. In the current marketplace, even established IT professionals are finding that they have to gain official certification, both to improve their abilities and to satisfy insurance and commercial employment requirements. As the name suggests, an individual with an MCSA accreditation has confirmed that they can successfully implement, administer and troubleshoot a Microsoft Windows network environment under the Windows Server 2003 operating system. They must be able to install and configure professional Microsoft desktop operating systems, manage and maintain a Windows Server environment and implement and maintain a Windows network infrastructure. Now, there are four MCP or Microsoft Certified Professional exams required to obtain the MCSA. Microsoft also allows the use of the CompTIA Security Plus exam as one of the four, meaning students can gain a more varied skill set for the modern marketplace. A Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer, or MCSE on the other hand, has developed the necessary skills to successfully plan and design a Microsoft Windows network environment, as well as implement and manage the Windows operating system. To reflect this, there are a total of seven exams required, which build on the idea of the MCSA and add in several exams covering systems planning and design, as well as organizational security. The MCSA and MCSE were originally developed by Microsoft to effectively guarantee that candidates have achieved proficient and professional levels of competency in the Microsoft Windows 2003 operating systems. The new MCITP Server 2008 exams are now remapping certification routes closer to real-world job specifications. There's no doubt that all comprehensive MCSE or MCSA training programs should feature some MCITP Server 2008 certification. The MCSA 2003 and MCITP Server 2008 administrator qualifications generally lead to jobs in server administration, networking, senior support work and implementation engineering. In essence, they're aimed at people who want to become technical systems administrators, dealing with the day-to-day -day issues involved with the running of a medium-sized corporate network. This type of work will suit those who are well disciplined and enjoy problem solving and diagnostic challenges. As a Microsoft professional, you can expect to have a lot of interaction with other people and a very varied working life, as you never know what you're going to be doing day to day. Adding the MCITP 2008 or MCSA qualification to the CompTIA A Plus and Network Plus accreditations will springboard your career into full technical networking and systems administration. CompTIA Security Plus is also recommended for today's security intensive network issues. The MCSE is primarily aimed at people who want to be designers, planners and project managers and work at a more senior level. Those who aspire to be network engineers, senior network administrators, technical consultants, technical project managers and security professionals should consider this route. It's an appropriate career path for those with creative, spatial and leadership skills, although these aren't necessarily required. The role will often involve management of both people and resources. Many candidates achieve their CompTIA certifications and then work in industry as administrators and support technicians, whilst they continue to study additional exams to progress to MCSE, MCITP, MCSA or other specialisations like security or messaging. 
you need to be very careful when planning your career as not all of the MCSA exams map to the MCSE requirements. If you wanted to be an MCSE, then the MCSA is not necessarily a prerequisite, as although they utilise some crossover exams, the goal is very different. Students can then progress their career onto the design and planning field once they've gained some commercial experience and are fully qualified at the lower levels. The MCITP exams are completely separate to the MCSA and MCSE exams and are based entirely on Windows Server 2008 rather than Server 2003. The MCSE is perhaps one of the most globally recognised technical certifications in the IT industry today and held at a considerable level of professional respect. Whichever track is the best one for you, there are excellent career opportunities available for MCSA, MCITP and MCSE certified professionals.